What's up YouTube? It's Master Aquatics and I'm just bringing you guys another video. So, got the peacock bass here. I got my largemouth bass here. Also got my catfish here, but there's a fish missing in here and unfortunately, I don't have the tarpon in my 125 gallon tank anymore. You guys probably already guessed it. You guys are probably saying, "Oh, I killed it. Oh, this happened." Da 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 da. Nah, not true. I'll tell you guys what I did with the tarpon here in just a second, but I just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on in here. And the green sunfish here has been being a bully towards my peacock bass, which again, I'm really surprised because I thought my peacock bass would be able to hold his own weight in here, but no, you know, he's being harassed by the green sunfish and he's been taking a beating. And also the same with my tarpon. So I had to figure out and figure out what to do and do something about it because I wasn't going to continue to let my fish get beat up. Um, so I decided just last night, I decided to put this guy in a net. I'm going to release him here shortly and I might move him into another tank. I do have a spare 29 gallon tank that I can move him to, but I'm only gonna do that if I see him uh, harassing my peacock bass again. Usually if I put fish in a net like this for a day or two, then you know they'll calm down, they won't be so aggressive, but sometimes that doesn't always work. So if he continues to beat up on my bass, then I'm gonna put him in a 29 gallon tank. So my fish are doing fine. I still got my crayfish. I still got everybody intact. I even moved my clam in here. Clam is still doing fine. And let me go ahead and show you guys my baby tarpon. So there's my baby tarpon. And he is in the 75 gallon tank. And he is the friendliest predator fish ever. You know, he's coming to the glass. He's really happy. But as you can see, like you got, there's some scales missing here. And it, it doesn't look pretty. I know it doesn't look pretty. I don't like it at all But he's not going after any of these fish surprisingly. I still got my angelfish uh, This angelfish and this angelfish have been laying eggs on the filter intake They just ate all the eggs here recently So and I still have my quarry cats. They're all right here down at the bottom Not sure if you guys can see them I still got all my fish guys, you know, nothing's changed, you guys have been asking for an update, you guys are asking me why I'm not showing my tanks more, why am I doing like reaction videos and stuff like that, it's because, you know, I gotta come up with new content somehow, I can't just be showing you guys, you know, the same thing over and over and over again. I mean, I could just get new fish every day, but like, I'm not gonna be that fish YouTuber that's just gonna get new fish just for views. I'm done doing that. I'm done spending money on fish just to try to get views and stuff like that. I'm trying to come up with different ways to get views by being a fish YouTuber. Um, there's all kinds of ways that I can get views without having to spend money and without having to get fish that I don't want. Most of these YouTubers, they're going to get fish just to try to get views. They don't even want these fish or they're just spending way too much money for nothing it's just it's pointless you know I don't want to do that I actually haven't fed these guys today so I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, I don't have any more <clears throat> I don't have any more bug bites so I'm gonna just feed them some tetra flakes I know you guys are like oh you know don't do that tetra flakes is horrible I've always fed my angelfish tetra flakes I'm gonna go ahead and do it now alright so here's the flakes here And they just go for that immediately. And they love this stuff. If you guys want to order some yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description. I order mine through Amazon. You can order yourself some through Amazon. Um, it's not going to be the best food for your fish, but it definitely, you know, keeps the colors on your fish nice and bright and vivid. Um, I've been using Tetra Color Flakes for the longest time and it's worked well for my fish so you know I can't really complain about it obviously this guy is not gonna eat flakes I haven't thrown any live food in there for him oh wow did you just eat flakes I think you just took a gasp of uh, air 
I don't know. He's only been in here for about two days. And like I said, he hasn't been aggressive towards any of my other fish at all. So, for people thinking our tarpon are aggressive fish, they're not too aggressive. Um, unless you put goldfish with them, then they're gonna, they are going to kill your goldfish. So, that's enough about these guys. You know, these guys are doing well. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the quick little update on these guys. Uh, here is my spare 29 gallon tank. It looks like crap. Um, I've neglected this tank for a long time. I recently just did a water change and for whatever reason this stuff is still there. But the water looks pretty clean except for all that nasty stuff down there. And here are my little frogs. As you can see. I don't know why the camera is not willing to get the true quality of these guys because in person these guys look really good. So check out these tadpoles guys. They're getting big. They're about to turn into frogs soon. I'm hoping sometime in July um, these guys will turn into frogs. And I don't know what kind of frogs these guys are going to be. But they look awesome. I've been feeding them worms and shrimps. They love this stuff. They eat a lot. I mean, they eat a lot, a lot. I'll put a big piece of shrimp in there and it'll be gone in a week. In about seven days, that thing is completely uh, dissolved and evaporated. And then there's also a bunch of snails in here. You got snails everywhere. They've been producing for me in here. They've been part of the uh, algae control crew in here. And as you can see, there's a bunch of uh, tadpoles just chilling on the sponge filter. Um, I don't think I've had... Hey. Hey. Get out of, get out of the shot, please. Get out of the shot. Um, but yeah. So, tadpoles are doing great. They're doing good. They're very low maintenance. I don't have to do water changes in here. All they want is a air stone to provide some oxygen in here. And that's pretty much it. I guess I can update you guys on my goldfish as well. Alright guys, here are my goldfish. They're doing good. They got a water change recently. And I should feed these guys as well. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Eat up guys, it's dinner time. So they're doing good. And uh, let me go ahead and show you guys the platies. So here are my guppies and platies. They are hiding back here. So there's one two, three, and they're all just hiding right now, and then there's four, I believe. No, actually, I lied. Fourth one is right there. Um, they love to hide. Uh, they've been in here for about a week. Oh, now they're coming out. I still can't believe that I caught these guys in a local pond. Um, if you guys missed that video, I'll put a card up in the top right-hand corner. So you guys can see how I caught these guys. I don't know how I did it. These guys were amazing. An amazing catch. Oh my god, extremely lucky with these guys. And they are super healthy. As you can see, um, they're just eating the flakes like there's no tomorrow. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much my update. Um, I was going to get new fish, but... You know, there's no interesting fish around my local fish store that I can get for you guys. And even if there was, I probably don't have the tank space to get new fish. So I'll have to just hold off on getting new fish until I decide I'm going to get like a big old fish, a bigger fish tank than what I got. Or I might go with some Oscars. I'll let you guys tell me what to get. What do you guys want to see added into the 125 gallon tank? Please just let me know. 
My name is Master Aquatics, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, and peace out, guys.